hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video before we move forward i would like to show you a quick real demo you have a trial account you can remove this message at any time by upgrading to a full account press any key to execute your code hello hello how are you today is there anything fun or interesting you want to chat about? Tell me a joke. Sure, here's a joke for you. Why don't skeletons fight each other? Because they don't have the guts. I think it it is very old. Can you tell me a new joke on programmers? Of course. How about this one? Why do programmers prefer dark mode? Because yeah it actually went well but i think i have lost my network on my cell phone but this is what we are building today so let's get started recently open ai has introduced uh, real-time apis so this real-time api has you know speech to speech functionality that means you connect this api with anything that you know feeds real-time audio and can accept real-time audio then you know you can build an application which is you know voice based just like what i have demonstrated and thankfully twilio provides us a phone number so i have a phone number this phone number can have a facility to you know feed audio and accept audio feed when i you know do some voice configuration just like i have done i have provided my webhook url so when a new call comes here twilio transfers the call to this webhook url i transfer it to you know real time api and then i just connect real time api and this uh, voice gateway so whatever i speak goes to real time api real time api generates the response and you know it sends uh, the buffer to this call and the call plays the audio to me so this is what we are going to build and if we come here i have code with me so this code is simple uh, node.js and fastify application fastify is a web framework just like uh, express so what i do here is you know i read uh, environment variables from the environment file and i read the open ai api key uh, then you know i create the fastify app then i have you know some uh, constant things my system message the voice I want to use I want to show you that there are many different uh, voices and different things that you can try and if we come here there is somewhere real time API here is the real time API and here in the real time API you can get you know different things uh, to get started but if I go to this voices there are alloy eco few voices you can try you know any of uh, these voices then you know i have few things that i want to log then i create a you know home route just to make sure that everything works then this is the main route in this route uh, new twilio call will be forwarded so if i go here you can see i have provided that route now when a new call comes i just forward it to this media stream now this media stream is a kind of a web socket so it keeps the connection alive until you terminate the call and what happens is that i first create uh, open ai web socket connection so if you look here in the real-time api concept i guess 
uh, yeah, uh, here. So what you need to do is that you need to create a web socket, connect uh, to OpenAI APIs through the web socket. Yeah, when it is open, you you know send the initial request, and once the connection session is established, uh, you can you know pass messages between your application and OpenAI uh, APIs. So here we you know uh, format the request and here we send the request and this is set timeout to, to just you know ensure that uh, the connection is stable and on you know message received what I do is that I log few things once everything is logged what I do is that if the audio has something so that means audio dot delta has something. What I do is that I create uh, audio delta with a media with a buffer and just send it to the uh, Twilio. Okay, this is the format in which Twilio understands uh, the audio. And whenever something comes on the Twilio connection, I pass it to. Uh, open AI API web socket we have created okay in a kind of a buffer so this way you know it is it is you know very simple plain application where you have two uh, web socket talking to each other we have Twilio web socket and we have uh, open AI API web socket so there is nothing you know uh, bigger or nothing substantial to show here but you know i hope you understand that this application or this demonstration opens a door to you know different possibilities you have in your mind and in order to you know run the application what you need to do is that you need to uh, let me stop this for a bit and in order to run the application uh, first in order to you know replicate the application i have used pm pm so what you need to do is pn pm i to install all the dependencies in the package.json file and then what you can do is that pn pm dev this will spin up the local host but now you know since this is running on my local host we need to expose uh, this local host to internet so for that I'm using ngrock to you know uh, expose my local host to internet and then I copy this and then I go here under phone numbers under active phone numbers even if you don't have a phone number with a trial account you get you know I think uh, 10 to 15 dollars of credit you can buy a phone number and then you know go to the phone number and under voice configuration you provide the webhook URL and save the configuration. Once you know saved and everything is done, what happens is that when you call the number, uh, Twilio will first initially you know play a recorded message that this is trial account. Press any key. You press any key, then the call is connected to our application. Now our application basically once you know received information here creates open ai web socket and you know listens to uh, this twilio web socket when anything comes here we pass it to open ai web socket when we receive something on open ai web socket we pass it to uh, twilio web socket so this way you can you know initially understand how to connect your application with open ai real time api so i hope uh, this demonstration of uh, open ai real time api can you know open many possibilities to your development and i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video uh, the code I have used here is available on my GitHub repository and the link of it is in the description of this video. 
If you face any issue, you know, running the code, please let me know in the comment section of the video. Finally, if you like my work that I put on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. That helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.